We just had a pretty solid jobs report come in for the month of March. Payrolls rose to 216,000, the jobless rate falling to 8.8 percent. Tom Keen and Ken Pruitt are on Bloomberg Surveillance Radio right now, uh, where they have PIMCO co-chief investment officer Bill Gross. Let's listen in. When you analyze the Fed as our other uh, policymaker, of course, there's the Supreme Court, and that uh, is slower moving than even the election booth. But uh, when you analyze the Fed, they have their conventional way of looking at things. They think uh, theoretically, and, and it sounds very practical, that if you raise interest rates, that you're tightening uh, policy, and that will restrict economic growth going forward. I have, I have no truck with that in, in terms of the logic, but somehow it seems that if at 25 basis points for an extended, extended period of time, uh, it becomes obvious that there's no incentive for savers and that uh, they spend money as opposed to save. The, the, the critical statistic, Tom and Ken, that, that we see here is a net national savings rate in the United States of a negative 2 to 3 percent, and we've had that for the last three or four years. We've ever had it ever since, you know, Pete Peterson that, of the Blackstone Group brought it out in 2006 with his book called right. Running on Empty. And, and Ken, I know you want to jump in here, but let's describe that. That's the savings that we all do, and then you overlay on that the non-savings of the public deficit, right? Yeah, that's correct. And you take out depreciation, and and you basically see what uh, what is left in terms of whether we're investing on a net basis in in back into our economy. And when it's minus two percent, that basically means no. And and an economy really can't grow. We can all agree with that. An economy can't grow if you don't invest on a net basis uh, in your economy. And we have been doing that for three, four, five years, and there's no significant sign that that negative uh, net national savings rate will move above the line. We have friends down there, by the way, Tom. We've got uh, Greece and we've got Portugal uh, above the line. Uh, much better uh, countries are situated, such as Brazil and Mexico. Uh, these are, you know, theoretically developing countries, but they've learned the lesson of how right. to save and how to make their economy grow. Ken, well, when, do, uh, when do rates go up, Bill? Well, gosh, the, the Fed's making noises, aren't they? Uh, you know, we have uh, Butler, or we have uh, Bullard and Fisher and Honig and uh, Kasha Lakota. Uh, there's a new one, you know, talking about 75 basis points uh, by the end of the year. I, I, I think we need to wait uh, for the day and, and this weekend and when, and when the um, the doves cry, so to speak. You know, that's a Prince uh, song, but the the three Very doves, good. <laughs> <laughs> the three doves, uh, you, you know, uh, being Dudley and uh, and Yellen and and of course. Ben Bernanke, and when they speak, uh, we'll listen a little bit harder, but th there's uh, an obvious uh, discontent amongst the group, and uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. I, I think, you know, uh, Bernanke's original statement three or four months ago uh, that he would uh, raise rates when there was a, a sustainable, proof of a sustainable path of, uh, of uh, economic growth, and he left that to interpretation. We suspect that means employment growth, and yeah, if we got another four or five months of this, uh, you know, let's look forward yeah, to um, uh, to a hike at some point. Bill, just in 30 seconds. I mean, okay, well, that is PIMCO co-chief investment officer world. Bill Gross talking with Tom Keenan and Ken Pruitt just leaving off there talking about the Fed and the pullout of quantitative easing and some of the, uh, some of the more hawks on the Fed.